So in the previous video, I showed you how you can connect your Shopify store onto um, AutoDS platform. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can import different dropshipping products that you found on AutoDS platform that you're planning to do dropshipping so you can transfer them from AutoDS to your Shopify website so your website can be ready and start doing your business and start making sales so stay tuned until the end so I can show you how you can do that and if you want to know how you can connect your auto deers and your Shopify store all together so you can start um, do your dropshipping business watch the video I will link it up somewhere on this video up here or somewhere and also I will leave the link down below on my description go ahead and watch it and if you want to start your 30 free days trial with AutoDS I will leave the link down below on my description as well as the link if you want to start your Shopify store for three dollar for three months and without further ado let's jump straight on today's video so now I'm I'm going to show you how you can actually import um, the dropshipping product that you found you want to sell on your dropshipping store which we're going to use Shopify and on and and our store is right here that we connected it from the previous video if you missed it click the link down on my description so you can watch it so this is where you can find your winning product so far on the marketplace all our ideas will show the hot products new arrivals and different more categories that uh, different seller is selling for home goodies, kitchen and stuff like that. So if you want to find um, more trending product, what are actually selling the most uh, from TikTok Spy, you can click this here, you'll find different sellers and see how they're actually advertising their product so you can know and learn how you can actually do it for your store as well. And if you should actually sell that product, you'll be able to see different trending products, different dropshippers they're selling right now. And what kind of strategy on advertising the products they're actually doing. And here is the winning product. So if we click on the winning product, AutoDS will show us different winning products that they're actually being sold right now. So let's say if we click this product here, we'll be able to see this product has been sold for two dollars and ten cents and if we scroll down here this is the profit this product has been sold for 1926 the potential profit is 13 and 98 so this is really really good and it also shows the targeted audience their ages their marital status occupation and their interest so this is how you can learn about your targeted audience and these are the ads different drop shipper tend to advertise so you can look at them uh, at the ads too and also this is the this is inside auto ds insights you can see the sellers who are selling this product and we, if we click this link here we'll be able to see the seller's website so this is how the seller's website looks like and this person is actually selling this product for $13.99 it's actually on sale and they have five star of the review and you can see how it actually looks like their descriptions um, and many more things so you can take inspiration on how they're doing and if you can see what are the things you can actually do to make them um, to make you stand out when you're planning to sell this product this is what I like about all ideas because it shows me the insight of my competitors um, on the product that I am thinking I can do on my dropshipping store. So let's say you found a product and you want to sell. The, the thing you have to do is go on that product and click import draft and this product will be imported on the draft over here. So now let's click import and then the product will be added to the auto ideas. And now let's go to the drafts and you can see this is the product we just added okay and now let's add it to our Shopify store so I'm going to select the product if you want to add all of them you can just select all the block all the boxes 
or you can just click here for item selected or if you want to just um, import only one product click the specific product and then go here where it says import all and click import all and then click um, if yes or no to import it on your Shopify store if yes then click yes and then um, AutoDS will say the product was sent to be imported so we have to wait a little bit of time give AutoDS a little bit of few seconds so the product can be imported on our store now let's go back onto our Shopify store and see if this product has been connected already so to do that go to the product and then we can see here is the product it has been imported from AutoDS to our Shopify store so let's click at the at the product and you can see um, the titles over there the description so many things um, different variants colors and different products photos so what i would recommend you is to go and um, delete some of these photos that they are on the description boxes but make sure you're not deleting the description the product description okay and now we only have um the description so what i will recommend you as you can see this product has been imported directly from the suppliers you don't want to make this product available on your store and start making sales on how it looks like first of all if you see the title it's a lot you need to make the title being short easy and simple so your customer can be attracted to just go ahead and be curious about this product because the title is a lot it makes me even tired just to read it so make sure your title is short simple and it has a meaningful on the product title so don't make this don't start selling this product with all the information you got from the suppliers so i'm going to start editing um the title as how i think it's going to fit better now this is how my title is going to be looking like instead of be looking like all these so many words i'm just going to leave it like this it's just easy and simple and on the features um we just happen to be so lucky with this product from these suppliers the feature they're like so easy and simple and clear but other suppliers um description they are like a lot you can't even understand um it's like very complicated so what i will recommend you is to just edit your description as well and leave only things that you want your customers to know don't just leave the description as how it is make sure to work at it in some ways and going down on the media these other media if we click that we can see how it actually looks like so you can look and see if these pictures will be perfect to leave them in your um in your store like that or if you want to delete some of them and make sure the product picture they are clear they're not too brawly um because that will drive away um your customers from purchasing from your store so if let's say if you want to delete some of the images you can just select the boxes and then you can go here and delete the file and shopify will tell you you're about to delete three of the 11 files and these can't be undone so if you're sure you want to delete it then just go ahead and delete it and when we go on the variants this is what is going to show if you're going to sell um red white black select the colors that you want and if other color you don't want you can actually take them out okay so by selecting that and then go here and click delete variants and now you're only left with the color that you're thinking to sell and going up make sure um, the starters is active and not draft if you want to make this product available right away and this is where they'll be shown um, you can also put the product title, the brand of the product if you want. Um, you can also put um, different categories, different tags, and many more. So after you're done, the only thing you have to do is just click save and you should be good to go. So this is pretty much how you can do it. This is how you can add the product from, um, from Autodesk to your Shopify store. 
I hope you liked today's video. If you do, please like it. Um, and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.